baby. Are you hungry? Pretty much what you saw right now that's pretty much has been my morning for the past month i get up take care of sophia i give her a bottle or david does while i uh, make the coffee usually i do empty out the dishwasher and kitty litter and open up all the blinds because i like to start out my morning you know with the natural light coming in um today i'm just going to show you what i have been doing for the past um month a lot of um, our Disney YouTube friends have encouraged me to keep, you know, do some home vlogging as well because um, it's been kind of lonely <laughs> for the past month because, you know, David still works and I'm just with the baby, but I have been doing a lot for the past month. All oh, that sound. It's a good sound. Uh, for the past month, I've been working on the house. We've been um, in our new home for a little over a, a month now and it's been amazing. And I'm a very OCD organized person. Um, actually, over the years, I've been kind of lazy about it. But now this is my very first, you know, home that I own. I want everything to be absolutely perfect. So I'll kind of show you how my OCD, my organization skills works, how my mind works, and how I am kind of like Monica, and sometimes I'm not. So I hope you guys enjoy my very first home vlog for Royal Dorks, and also hopefully the keep working on the garage because that's the biggest project in David's office and plus our grudge room or what we like to call our fresh baked room so stay tuned I must say this actually is the very first Disney mug I think I've ever purchased I got it about already five years ago or four actually no four years ago on my um, 28th birthday so it's a little special mug when my life turned for the better. What do you want? You have food. You have water. You have kitty litter. What do you want? Do you actually just want attention? Okay. A little bit later? You're gonna jump up here, aren't you? Hey guys, I'm going to uh, drink my coffee really quick and hang out with the husband for a little bit. I'm going to uh, watch a little YouTube and then I will show you uh, what else I do in the mornings and I'll, be, I'll show you a more detailed uh, tour of the house. Sophia, put on something for her in the beginning while I'm doing chores, and sometimes I change it up with YouTube or movies or TV shows, whatever it may be. So, um, yeah, this is my my view for the past month. So I've been kind of getting a slow start this morning. Um, I watched my uh, Easter service, um, Pastor Dudley from Shepherd the Hills Church in Porter Ranch. And I just FaceTime my Nana. I know some of you who follow Fresh Bake, we do live streams every Thursday. And last Thursday I mentioned 
Um, my Nana had a fall and I uh, just FaceTime her and she does not look good. So please keep uh, her in your guys' prayers and thoughts. Um, for her and myself that this might, you know, in a, within a couple months happen, but I mean, she's lived a long, beautiful life for 94 years, but um, She's been isolated um, from family and really good food, so um, she might go join uh, my papa soon. But as soon as this one kind of gets a little bit more tired out, I will show you what I usually do in the morning, and it's almost lunchtime, so maybe I'll make some lunch too. because that's how hungry I am. <laughs> I might eat something else too. What do you want? Huh? Maybe later? Bless you. Coco. Gucci. Gucci Prada. Coco Chanel. Now are you a butter on bagel person? Are you a cream cheese person? Are you lox and cream cheese? Are you both cream cheese and butter, which I usually am? Do you like flavored cream cheeses or butters? What kind of bagels do you like? I like me just a nice plain bagel. Sometimes I like to mix it up with an everything or onion, even blueberry, but. And if you guys are interested, um, the Daya cream cheese is actually not that bad. Pretty much all the cream cheeses and whatnot are gonna have more of like a nutty taste versus a cheesy taste, but for, to me, it tastes really, really good. I am going to have my breakfast really quick. I mean, and lunch. <laughs> Definitely show you now. Um, a more detailed tour of the house and how I do my OCD organization and whatnot. Um, so stay tuned. What is she doing? Is she vlogging in here? She just left her camera here in the middle of a vlog session. Hi baby, I love you. Do you have someone in your in your family who doesn't close doors all the way or keeps cupboards open? They're fine people, I'm sure. Oh well lucky ah. enough, lucky enough, but sometimes they even even open it like that. But there's times where they just like, oh, like this? This drives me insane. And there's times where I'll just go in here and just be like, good! That's one of my OCDs. One. I have a thousand. So with that being said, while well, this man over here makes his awesome lunch, sure. there was a time where this garage was hideous. We had boxes literally in the middle of the garage. I mean, when we moved and we were unpacking, like it was like our area just like to dump all the boxes. So my part of my OCD is, has definitely one thing I did not like. I do not like clutter. I like things to be spread out in certain areas. Everything needs to have a home. And I'm guilty of it because I have things that don't have homes right now and it's driving me insane. However, they're in spots where I can't see it so I forget about it and then when I go look, I'm like, oh yeah, you need a new home. Now there was a time in my life where I was pretty OCD about my laundry. Uh, some of you who have been my friends for 10 plus years or longer kind of knows one of my OCDs. When I was younger, I I like odd numbers. 
I do not like even numbers, I like odd. And when I was, you know, back in my high school, even some college uh, days, I had to have only some pieces in odd numbers in my laundry. Um, and then I would obviously be the people that would separate darks with whites, delicates, and whatnot. I have grown up, <laughs> and I am lazy now, where I just throw everything in unless it is something delicate that needs to be washed by itself. And I do not put three to five pieces all the time. Sometimes in the beginning, once I did a load and I put something in, I would like to have three pieces to start. Um, I swear I'm not crazy, guys. It's just how my brain works. Um, but now being married and having a kid, you forget things like that. So, with that being said, stand by. I'm going to go get my daughter's clothes and also some towels, kitchen towels to clean. And we will continue with the tour. When we moved in, we had a lot already, some furniture pieces that we purchased from them at a really awesome price. And then also when we bought the house, they gave us other things like the jacuzzi, um, I think barbecue, and they actually kept some stuff like the refrigerator. And the first time ever that I can decorate my own home, in the apartment it was literally just like random, but for here I have each room that has a certain theme, color scheme, and whatnot. So I went with Teals, grays, greens, a little bit of black, a hint of red because I can't help it. There's just a couple things I want out and it's just that color. But kind of like, doesn't really have a theme per se, but it just, I think in my opinion, things kind of blend nicely. So over here, I've had these laughter full, or full of love and laughter and adventures out there. I got, I had these for probably a good like five plus years now. Got them at Target. So, and I just think it'd be really cute here in the kitchen. But first coffee, my sister gave me that and I love it because it's true. It's like, adventure's out there, full of love and laughter. But first, before we can do any of those two, coffee, am I right? The goal also is to have the kitty stuff, like the kitty leader's already out there and I want them, they have a little cute kitty door which we need a new flap for, um, for them to be outside because this table is actually gonna become our dining table, which we have not had ever in our relationship. I used, I grew up with a you know dining area. However, this nook, we purchased this. Weirdly enough, <laughs> we do not have a linen closet. I like to put our linens and our sheets and our bath towels. Don't got one. So that was really weird. For such a beautiful home, there's not a hallway closet. So um, for now, the nook is what I think I like to call it, is gonna be our linen bedding uh, bath towels and I'm gonna put it in the garage with other things that I will explain later, so. And over here, this isn't the way I want it to be organized. It kinda just got thrown in here. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I do kinda get a little overwhelmed when there is like so much stuff and I don't really know where to begin. So thank God my sister, she's kind of like the opposite of me. I have sometimes indecisive issues where she can just get things done. Um, but I think sooner or later I kind of have an idea and to me this will be a lot more organized. Probably for some for you it's like, oh my gosh, I think it looks great. To me it looks a little sloppy. So obviously, you know, Got our sock on our paper towel and toilet paper during this quarantine life we're experiencing right now. Goal was to have like the teas, um, canned goods, more so down here. However, we have some up here, but these are more like your soups, chilies, and beans. Down there is like more like the fruit stuff. Um, we have a thousand cereals because we're all going through a phase. Um, we got our rice, we got our pasta, so that's kind of like together mashed potatoes, however the mac and cheese is over there. Some of our baking stuff is right here, ramen noodles, uh, baby food that Sophia um, will hopefully start having soon, and that's that. So this is our cute little kitchen um, pantry. 
Um, I want to apologize if my recording, filming, selfing is horrible. I don't do this often, <laughs> as you can see, but I'm hoping to do more. And I just want to do a shout out to um, Best Life and Beyond, Adam the Woo, Theme Park Obsessions, Beautiful Tomorrow, Magic Journeys, all of all of our Disney families that um, we're not together right now. I know we're all trying to home vlog. And, but we're all in this together and you guys have been really an inspiration uh, for me to kind of help out David with uh, some footage of whatever it may be. I'm just kind of showing you what I have been doing for the past month. So um, just let me know if you guys want any other things to see or you have any questions or you have any tips or you need help organizing. Um, I'm definitely will be your girl. So I um, hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I'm actually enjoying talking to you guys about everything and please go ahead and keep supporting our other Disney YouTuber families. As I said, Best Life and Beyond, Adam the Woo, oh, Random Land, can't forget Random Land, Justin's Garden, Alley, and Theme Park, Magic Journeys, Beautiful Tomorrow, and whoever else is in the Disney YouTube community, uh, hang in there, we got this. This will be over before we know it. So here is one of our cupboards. Um, like I said, this isn't the way I probably want to have things for now, but this is like our alcohol section. Some bowls up there. I'm not gonna get up there because as you saw earlier, I need a stool. Thank goodness that they have stools for me to get up and get to high places, but we're not gonna do that right now, so. Um, over here, uh, I mean, working stuff, but down there is my vases. Uh, this came obviously with the kitchen. It's an island. I've never had one before. It's a little cheap. It's definitely a little dated already, but we kind of keep the like baby stuff down there for now in the trash bags. Obviously my utensils and more bowls, pots and pans. Um, I do love the color teal. I got this at um, Big Lots and I thought it was a good steal. Um, this is a cute little, I love this type of like little like nook things um my mom was the same way and i got this is from the winchester uh, out with crystal and joe and san leandro we went to san jose and i have little things in here and actually my husband who's crazy um focus technical issues i'm so sorry but this actually came <laughs> from the san jose winchester house really not nothing no weird activity per se from this particular um item I think it's more so like like I said like my mother so but I have other little treasures in here that um I've kind of collected over the years this actually was supposed to be for my mom I was gonna put her ashes in it but um I just what if she fell out I would feel really bad a little angel worry stone and some other things so but I thought it was pretty colors because I'm going with the teals and greens and whatnot uh we are done with the kitchen so Pretty much everything is in the place that it should be, like things underneath the sink is awfully the cleaning products and some kitchen towels. Um, is it perfect? No, but is it close? Yeah, so I might just leave it how it is. So um, now let's move into the biggest part of the house, which is the living room. The door and right when you walk in, this is our living room and uh, the couch came with us and some of the other furniture pieces we purchased that from them and it was literally uh, such a blessing because i think it's really hard to shop for furniture pieces as it is and we're very both on two different pages he likes more modern ikea where i'm more kind of cottage and um old-fashioned i like wood he doesn't but um i think we kind of get best of both worlds because it is kind of modern but we have some wood because of the wood and uh the wood floors and where it's gonna the theme to it I kind of went for was pretty much everything that we're into all the movies a video games you know Funko Pop stuff um, comic books pretty much retro meets vintage meets Disney meets Marvel meets meets it all kind of have like a little Disney museum kind of vintage thing happening we have um, a fan who gave us a Casey Jr. set and it's absolutely precious we had another fan give this amazing Mickey and Miggy Miggy, <laughs> Mickey and Minnie figurine. Um, I think it's from Tokyo Disney. Another fan gives this awesome little Paris snow globe. Pretty much all you amazing muffins out there gave us these great things that we put out, which is one of my favorite things to do. Um, I mean, the fresh baked room is going to really be 
the shrine, but there's some things out that I want, you know, on display. Um, Laura Wade, an awesome muffin, she painted this, and I think it's awesome, retro, and hopefully we're gonna have a couple more on each side. <laughs> it's already my junk drawer, uh, that needs to be fixed, I don't wanna talk about that one, that's been just like, shh, go to sleep. Um, this is some stuff that I've collected over the years and some new things. These are were my parents. Um, I think they actually did come from the Orient. I'm not sure if it was China. I think so by the line. I think that's Chinese. Um, my parents gave me this one year for my birthday. My sister has one too. I got these beautiful eggs in Michigan years ago. Um, one was my mom's. The other one was my grandmother's. And um, thank God I saved them. My mom had a beautiful collection of Swarovski uh, crystals. Fortunately, we lost almost all of them. Um, my sweet brother, Laramie, um, he gave me this cute little Tinkerbell. How, unfortunately, it did kind of uh, broke a little bit, but it's still really cute. And then my sweet Nina gave me this awesome amethyst, I think it is, um, crystal uh, to protect, oh, you know, for like love or healing or anxiety. I forgot which one, but whatever it is, it's absolutely beautiful as well. But over here, um, we're kind of having like the Disney books, Funkos. It's not perfect, but it's ideal of what I want to have set up. Um, these are all going to be my steel books. Down below is actually all of the VHS stuff, which I'm going to put the VHS player right there. Do you have an N64, which I have not played in a while because we only have one remote controller. I got that last year for Christmas or the um, year before. Over here, uh, this is really really cool this was uh this is david's it's actually a uh vhs video of the star wars trilogy i think back in the 80s and the cassette is just so cool see for us you know it's vintage but for them you know that's what they had that's how their videos came um but we got some comic books more books and kind of see how i like things to kind of they have to blend nicely um there's times where I'm really OCD, where I want things in alphabetic order, but I'm not doing that. So it kind of saves me some time and energy. I have uh, one of the friends' box sets. Um, each like um, cast member and crew uh, got one for free. Obviously, my father got uh, got one because he was the warm up for nine years, and um, he gave it to me because um, I need friends in my life still. This is also a piece that my father got on the set. And this is number 98 out of 350. Back there is um, some real cool box sets. I have a Pokey. I love Gumby. One of my college friends, Arturo, gave that, to, uh, gave that to me one birthday. And then we have our cool little Iron Man and Thor tin posters that I got at one of my favorite stores called Rocket Fizz. I believe there's one in Irvine, but the one I like is the original, I believe, and that's in Burbank. Um, this clock came with us. Or, I mean, came with the house. It's awesome. Some cool things. Some Disneyland books that, you know, I think Nina gave this. That one and the other one. Or Daniela. I'm, one of you beautiful girls did. Um, my mom is in there, as you guys know. And we got some more books. Our beautiful fireplace. My cat. Sometimes you really can't see if they're breathing or not, even though she's like moved like a thousand times. I still freak out. Anyways, welcome to my favorite bathroom I've ever had um, in my life. I this is how it came the house um, with this type of wood, and I, I just it makes it so cabiny, and uh, and just makes it that very rustic, as if you're like outside in a backyard wedding or something. I absolutely that's why. I, I kind of put up the things that um, Ashley Tea Time Collections made for me. Those are my wedding mini ears and those are uh, David's. Um, a sweet muffin made this awesome Sophia sign. And just the rest of colors, like the champagnes, the ivories, it's just beautiful. Um, I have my candles. I love my candles. I'm actually the type of person who likes to take a shower with the lights off, candles with like some meditation spa music. Um, some of my favorite body splashes, a beautiful picture of baby Tristan. Um, my mom, one of my mom's perfumes that she used right before she uh, passed away. 
She has another one that uh, Dolce & Gabbana Gold that's more that smells like her, but this one's pretty close and a beautiful picture. Pretty much the only picture I literally have of me and David and just a family photo. I'm absolutely horrible when it comes to going to a place and picking out pictures and getting them uploaded in frame and I, I want that because that's how I grew up. I grew up with um, having all these family photos, you know, like whoa, like on walls and I don't have that. So hopefully that's something like in the near future that I can work on, hopefully before like Sophia's first birthday. <laughs> Could you be any cuter? Or should I say good afternoon? How was your nap? Was it a good nap? You slept for a while. Cause you were Miss Cranky Pants. Yeah. You hungry? You want Baba? Yeah. Can you say hi? <laughs> Can you say hi? I'm gonna take care of her really quick and then after I'm done, I will put her back in the crib and I will show you the um, our room. Okay, last. But not least, um, we have the master bedroom. And uh, it turned out to be pretty nice uh, theme wise. Got the color scheme of like browns and reds and grays. Um, we have like a little pink section because of Sophia. Um, the only thing is that, is it organized the way that I want it to be? Not really, and I'll show you. So, first things first is the closet. Um, <sighs> the clothes, um, I did work in retail, so I kind of try my best to go color coordinated, um, you know, long sleeve and whatnot. So on this side, it's kind of more of like my dressy um, side and like some coats and this is actually, this should not be in here, but David left it in here and I just kind of threw it in the closet. Um, up there is all like my memorabilia and some other um, things that I've collected over the years. And some of uh, Sophia stuff is up there. That's pretty nice. I like how it looks. I like things stacked, as you can see. Um, so, but this is our closet. It's it's okay. Um, we used to have a walk-in closet. It was small, but it was definitely you know easier than this. But this is the middle section, and obviously uh, Dave and I share. So pretty much all of like from like here to here is uh, David and the rest from there and over is mine um, we both don't have a lot of clothes we definitely need to go shopping I'm more of a hand-me-down shopper I'm a horrible shopper so I like to I pretty much my wardrobe is my sister's old wardrobe it's pretty much how I do it sometimes I shop but I usually don't um, got some bags up there got some of my shoes up there um, not ideal for me per se, and this is why I use coasters. He didn't use a coaster, and had a paper towel on it, and now he has a beautiful circle, so that makes me sad. These coasters are awesome. We got these coasters in Bayou, um, where the tapestry was. God, I'll never forget that. That was so absolutely amazing. A picture of baby Tristan and, and daddy, and then it's something to remember them by. So uh, here's the beautiful king size bed that um, also came with the house that we purchased. We've never had a king size bed. I've always been a either a full or a queen, even twin way back in the day, and same with David, just a, a queen size. So I love it. He misses snuggling me. Um, I, I like my space and those are my two cute little kitties sleeping and all these drawers are all Sophia's I don't want to open them because I'm completely embarrassed of how unorganized uh, They are over here. Here's a little some other knickknacks. Um, this is My plate um, when I was born. However, my middle name is with an E on the end. So they got that wrong but I was born in Tarzana, California, March 21st, 1988, at 11.15 p.m. And I believe it says like they're five pounds and nine ounces. So I was even tinier than uh, Sophia. So here's a cute picture of um, me, my sister, and my uh, beautiful mother. And uh, this was the perfume that I've kept that every time I smell it, it smells like my mom. It's Dolce Cabana gold um, and every time I miss her I kind of give it a whiff of it and it's lovely here's uh, Sophia's little crib um, has bumpers on it because she's such a roly-poly 
and she gets her hands and toes, you know, caught. So David bought some cute bumpers off of Amazon. That's all the time I have for now. I was gonna show you guys some VHS videos. Maybe I'll do that another day when I'm organizing. Uh, goal is to finish that garage and so I can do the more detailed stuff, putting pictures up, really organizing, and then hopefully, you know, it's like a before and after and I can show you guys how everything is nicely uh, put together. Fresh baked room, I don't know when or I'll ever get to it, but you never know. So I hope you guys, um, enjoyed my little first video. I pretty much just show you, showed you what I do every morning, what I do with Sophia, and what I have been doing in the house for the past month. So I am gonna go to my daughter because she is freaking out. Till next time, love you guys.